Hey, Tai here, so welcome back to the True Lenses series, the series where we stick a camera in front of the lenses of our VR headsets to see which one is the best, which one is the right for you. And well, this video is gonna be a little different. Let's consider it a special edition because I modded my Vive Cosmos Elite around two weeks ago. And well, I wanna show the results because I'm pretty impressed with those. And well, what is this mod? Well, it's pretty much swapping the regular lenses with the Gear VR lenses. Because if you watch my reviews, of the Vive Cosmos, because of course you watch my review of the Vive Cosmos, right? You may know that there are three major flaws. One is the tracking, the other one is the price, and the other one is actually the sweet spot, the way you look through the lenses. And well, the tracking was fixed with the Vive Cosmos Elite, because now we can use the Steam VR tracking that is much, much better than the inside out tracking that we had with the Cosmos. The second one, the price, well, we can't actually fix it. It's something that HTC has to work on because $8.99 is pretty expensive for this headset. And the third one, the one that we can actually do something, is the sweet spot. Swapping the lenses to the Gear VR lenses, we already saw great results with the original HTC Vive, but there the screen door effect was becoming massive because, of course, you enhance the clarity and that makes it even more clear the space between the pixels, of course. But in this case, the resolution is very, very high. It's 2880 by 1700, that is one of the highest on the market and well the situation should get better right we're gonna compare it of course with the valve index with the resolution 2880 by 1600 because in the time that you have the, your 3d printed part to make this mod and you have also of course the lenses from the gear vr lenses you are pretty much at the same price of the valve index and of course we're gonna compare it also with the regular vive cosmos because we want to see course the difference between the regular version and the modded version so here we are with this comparison let's enjoy it together and this time in a little different way because i want to talk over it to actually help you like through all the process to see the differences that i spotted during these more than two weeks with this mod but yeah let's get into it then let's see together if it's worth it or not and how to do it And here we are, like always, starting with Steam VR. Now with the last update, it's actually curved and the colors are a little different, so please don't look at that. But you can see clarity that is pretty good already with these new pancake lenses on the Cosmos with the mod. Now this is the Valve Index and this is the regular Cosmos as we saw in the past. And already between those two, you can see big difference. And when we go with the Vive Cosmos modded, well, clarity gets much, much better. The text is crisper and all the lines, the details are much crisper than before. Now, zooming in, what you can notice is actually the screen door effect that, yes, is more noticeable than before. And also you can notice that it's actually different where the Valve Index has straight lines with the Cosmos, you actually have a diagonal screen door effect. It's kind of weird because we're still talking about an RGB pixel arrangement, we hope. But now let's get to Assetto Corsa. I use this game a lot because you can see how far you can see cars in the in the track. Also here installed some mod so you're gonna see some more reflection between the regular Cosmos that was an older uh, video and the updated one. Now, the other thing that you can notice right away is the colors. They pop much more than with the other headsets. That's because you are using lenses that are made glass and not in plastic like the other two. Now, the lenses on the Valve Index are double kind of lenses, so the clarity gets better and more light pass through, but never enough light like the one that we have with the Cosmos mod. Also, zooming in the steering wheel, you can see the clarity in the text is readable on the Valve Index in the Cosmos with the mod and a little less with the Vive Cosmos regular one also because we are in the edges of the visual instead of being in the center part where there's a tiny sweet spot than the regular Cosmos has. Now here you can see how far uh, we can go with the cars one after the other. The clarity is good, don't look at the frame rate anyway because it could be also the shutter speed that makes difference between the different videos. And well, here we have the Valve Index that has great colors, by the way, still, and well, looks amazing, by the way, always. 
Now comparing the tree over here, we can see how far we can spot actually the cars get into the first chicane in Monza. And well, you can notice how much better is the clarity of the cosmos with the new lenses than the other two. Now, the resolution is not high enough, of course, to see really every single detail down there, but it's much clearer with the cosmos mod than with the other two. Even the valve index with the regular RGB pixel arrangement struggles a little when the subject gets very very far. Now, a little dangerous, I didn't go through all the different screenshots, but I just used this one to show a little the clarity and the contrast that these lenses create. Because being in glass, well, you have to remember that the cut rays are going to be completely gone. You're not going to have them at all. And the contrast between these areas is going to be very, very good. But now let's get to our last test, that is the text, of course, uh, with this uh, usual letter test that we do with every headset. Here we have the Cosmos mod and here we have the regular Cosmos. And you can see the clarity is completely another word. And then the valve index that keeps a great result, of course, every time. Going back to the Vive Cosmos Elite, we can see though that the clarity is better, but for some reason the resolution seems a little lower maybe because the pixels are just arranged in a, a different way so over here when we zoom in we can see again more screen door effect on the vive cosmos with the mod than the other two but also much more clarity even if it's a little harder to read than with the valve index and that's very interesting and here, the guys, this was the comparison between the regular version of Vive Cosmos, the modded version of the Vive Cosmos and the Valve Index. Let me know what you think about it in the comment below and of course in the pool over here so we can vote to see uh, what do you guys think, if it's still better, uh, the Valve Index or actually get better than that. But I want to go a little more in depth on the thing because, well, these pictures and even talking about them together is not really enough because the Vive Cosmos is a very expensive headset. We said it, it's $899 and well, with this mod it's going to be even more expensive and it's a mod that you have to do yourself. So, well, it's actually a little risky because if some dust gets inside the Vive Cosmos, well, you're kind of screwed because it's very hard to get the dust out from the displays inside, of course, the HMD, the headset. And even if the results are very much better than the original version that really was hard to enjoy for these lenses that just weren't good enough because also the position of the headset on your face is just not the correct one. So you always see through it a different angle than what you should. It's very risky for such an expensive headset. Now, if you want to do this mod, it's pretty easy, but I didn't film it because I was really focusing on not having any dust inside the HMD. Well done, VR Gamer Dude made an amazing video about it. You can go step by step with him on how to change them. The only thing that I suggest is, first of all, don't keep that area open too much. So be very fast swapping, like take it out and put in the new lenses right away. Because in some places, well, places are dusty and some dust gets in, well, your vision is gonna get worse, of course, in the headset. And also, if you want a little trick, it's very useful to do it in the bathroom. You turn on the shower very, very hot, so it creates a lot of steam in the room that is gonna bring down all the dust and then you can work directly on the headset with much less dust in the room. And that's very useful to don't have any problem after. But yeah, the video is gonna be in the description below so you can check it out and do it together with them. But about if this is worth it or not, well, if you already have the headset, probably it's worth a try because that makes the headset much, much better than before, much more enjoyable than before. The clarity is better, the colors are better, it's much brighter. And well, you can enjoy more and more uh, the screen with this great resolution. But if instead you want to buy this Vive Cosmos just to swap the lenses where really, I would go directly to the Valve Index, no doubt about it. And I gave a thousand more reason in the review of the Vive Cosmos Elite. So check that out for sure. So yeah, this is the result. This is the situation. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you are brave enough to do it, well, you're not gonna be disappointed for sure. 
but be sure to do it well. And as always, guys, remember to vote in the poll over here. And if you liked the video, like. If you didn't like the video, dislike. Subscribe to the channel for more of VR tech. And I see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Ciao.